talk about some of the some of the gaslighting, some of the ridiculousness, and then we'll uh, we'll dive into a few of the topics in more depth. Yeah, yeah. And right now, you mentioned a couple of them. It is it is it's misdirection, really, is how I look at it. It's false advertising to tell people you can get to zero gasoline consumption in the fourth or fifth largest economy in the world, where there's 20 million registered vehicles. It's you know it's the articles from. The LA Times, you know, touting EV sales, you know, are 16% of new car sales in California. Well, yeah, but there's 20 million vehicles on the road and they're going to be there for a really long time. And it's really not when you drive around, you really don't see them all over the place when you get out to the open roads. And then it's refinery price gouging, but 99% of us are driving an internal combustion engine. So now you're layering on um an oversight committee to the california energy commission as you mentioned that's going to cost seven million dollars for the first year where's that going to come from is if it comes from the refineries it's going to get passed on to the consumer somehow if it comes from the state it's tax dollars being spent on this kind of a committee so it's coming from somewhere um and then what's the effectiveness of it for example you know me yesterday driving from san diego to taft to bakersfield and back you know i see gasoline for 519 a gallon in san diego i fill up in san clemente for 495 a gallon i fill up at taft for 465 coming back so the price spread just at the different downstream retail stations is 50 to 60 percent and here gavin newsom is passing a bill on refinery price gouging and I think you would definitely have an appreciation for the upstream, the midstream and the downstream and the three segments of, you know, oil and gas in general, how it works. It's really yeah. freaking complicated, though. And, um, right. you know, the, the price gouging at the refineries might be an issue, but you're probably going to have more variability at the service station sec, you know, segment of the industry. And. How are you going to account for that? And how are you going to monitor that? And how are you going to tax people? What's an appropriate level for a gas station in the middle of nowhere that has to charge that price for fuel? Because it's if it's got you by the short hairs in the middle of nowhere, you're going to fill up. Right. <laughs> so it's kind of well, those, I mean, those elements that you see that, you know, from an energy insider's perspective, you're like, how does this even make sense? Absolutely. Well, you want to talk about price gouging, talk about the taxes on gasoline in California. I mean, that's, it's, it's ridiculous. Exactly. And that's exactly what I thought when I filled up in TAF for 465, I said, this is the best price I've seen over the past two days. So now let me look at Oklahoma's average price today. And it was 315. And it was like a buck 24 less, which is almost exactly what the tax add up is from the California Energy Commission. They have this little picture of a gas pump. You probably see me tweet it and it adds up the state excise tax, 34 cents, the, the cap and trade and the climate uh, tariffs, the low carbon fuel standard tariff the we pay extra for a special blend of gasoline. All these things add up to about a buck 20. And it's like it's sitting right there staring me at the face like okay wow this is oklahoma's 315 it's about a buck 20 higher here in taft it do we really need a commission to tell us about all the taxes that are layered into the the gallon i don't get it <laughs> 